Hello everybody, Van Berman here. Welcome to another video. I'm just doing a, an update for you guys. I uh, haven't done one in quite a while, so I thought I'd do one now. There's going to be a lot of stuff changing and happening very recently, so there's going to be a fair amount of upheaval. I suppose I'm going to be moving out into my own place, so that should be next week, <laughs> although it's not confirmed yet, so the estate agents really are leaving it a bit close to the bone. But one of the things I wanted to do the video on, as you can clearly see, is right here. Which is the Pitbull edition for Fallout. As you know, I've got Fallout on the PC, but there were some of the Pitbull editions going on going on Amazon. So it was still £100 it cost me for the Pitbull edition, but if you look around, Pitbull is going for really uh, a lot of money, it seems to be at the minute. So. Yeah, people try and sell them for a lot more than that. So this one is actually the French version. So I've got the steel book there in its casing on the PS4. I'm going to put that on eBay uh, just as a way of recouping some of the money from uh, well, from buying the Pit Boy really. And here it is. Now, even though even though it's from the French version, the game is still in English. It's just all the instructions are in French. So. The box, the capsule, I really quite like actually. I don't think there's anything, I don't know if there's else in there, I don't think so. And it uh, gives you a very nice stand to put it on, so I have to find somewhere, somewhere nice for that. A bit clumsy, I suppose, but it's a new stand. But yeah, no, it's quite nice, that'll be quite nice for it to go on. And actually, this is the first time I've got it out of the box. I mean, I have seen other people's versions, so I might need to just lower the camera slightly. Does that work? Can I even lower the camera? Oh, there we go. I can't lower the camera. So, there it is at the minute. It's obviously got this screen that you take out and put your phone in. Um, I wasn't really here to do an unboxing of the Pit Boy Edition, but I just thought I'd show you while I got it out. The clasp is probably one of the most heaviest parts of it. And then you've got this, which is uh, to help your phone go in at various points. And it just goes on your wrist and there's a Yeah, a very, it's, uh, for what it is, it feels a little bit cheap. Although, yeah, maybe I'm doing it a bit of a disservice there. I wonder if it will actually go on my arm. I shouldn't let's see why not. There we go. How would just one hold this? I suppose you have it like this, yeah? Anyway. Bear me a second, I'll just try and put it on. Oh. Yeah, more than easily fits me just about. Might have to put it on a little bit higher up. But yes, there it is. Pip Boy. With uh, all the working buttons. Oh god. Don't want to mess around with it. I don't think it's much of a toy though. I feel like I'm going to break it. Hmm. And there's got Pip Boy Light. A button for something. Uh. I don't know what that does, and then obviously the clicking thing and the and the other thing on the side, and it's all very nice, isn't it? Um, does this come off like it does in the game? Oh, I don't want to pull anything because I don't want it to break. <laughs> We're going to say no. I'm going to say no on that one. But yeah, I'm going to get this all set up, and I'm actually going to, next time I'm on, oh, the rads counter doesn't work. How cool would that be if it did? Um, yeah, I'm going to get this all set up, and next time I play Fallout, I'm going to need try and use this. I uh, don't know how well it's going to be though, but no, it's a really, I mean, is it worth the money? No, probably not. Maybe some plans, but by God, it is, it is, uh, oh, I don't know, just one of those things, isn't it? Like when the creators actually give you the chance to, you know, have such a iconic, oh, such an iconic thing. It's just, it's great. I really like it. And um, yes, that will, Find somewhere very nice, I'm sure, now. Right? On the mantelpiece or something. Like this, uh, stand, which I'll put on now. I'm sure I had other things to talk to you guys about, but now I've been sidetracked by this. Come on. There we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, now I've shown you that and the steelbook. This is the other thing I got. From the 
early Amazon Black Friday deal. Hopefully, I don't want to move around too much because that was probably horrendous. But hopefully they don't have a better deal on this for actual Black Friday because that would be embarrassing to me. I've just bought this, but hey-ho. Uh, it was actually a really good price, 30 something percent off or 30 percent off. Yeah, around about that, which is really good. Uh, you know, you these only generally come down for special events and things. So I did quite have to pick it up. And that means that this little boy is uh, going to find himself a new home um, through the annals of eBay, no doubt. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I suppose it makes sense. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people do it. But what I like to try and do is if I upgrade or, you know, um, modernize my equipment in any way, always like to try and uh, keep the one in a good enough condition that it can be sold on. So in this case, I'm able to sell my old microphone to fund probably nearly half of uh, what I paid for the new one. So it makes the hit on the wallet not quite as bad, which is always a plus point. So, yeah, I don't really have anything else to mention other than that. Obviously, when I've moved into my new house and stuff, I will uh, let you guys know, and you'll probably get a tour at some point as well. Instead of a room tour, it will be a house tour. My room is in absolute state at the minute. So I have very minutely tried to tidy up so it doesn't look too bad. But if you could see off camera, you would think it was horrendous. So, yeah. It's just one of those things, you know, when you're moving out, you know you're going to move out and you start packing. It's inevitable that some mess is going to be created at some point. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. I'm going to be doing some Fallout videos. I don't know how I'm going to, if I sort of do a, a, a cam in cam thing, so, you, you know, just the novelty of me using uh, the Pip-Boy. Probably will do that for an episode, just to just because uh, it seems right to do so. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, update, I suppose it will be. And I'll see you all very soon on the next video, whenever that is. Of course, while I'm moving and going on to a new menu shift pattern, videos will probably dry up a bit. I do have a lot, or quite a lot of uh, Fallout videos that I've made that are uploaded. So it's just a matter of me, because I keep forgetting. I keep going on YouTube to put them up, and then I keep forgetting to do them. So I'll have to remind myself. And I realise that the camera has not been in the middle. Oh, God. Oh, well. Never mind. Another rookie mistake by Van Berman. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. See you all very soon. Goodbye.